Getting out there and even in the parts where they've just gotten light rain like Los Angeles, they're not used to that for long periods of time. Let's bring Kevin into the conversation. Does this impact us in any way, Kevin? Well, the weather pattern does at least anyways, because the stormy weather pattern that they're seeing out in the west, all that air is being pushed east. So all that mild Pacific air mm -hmm. is why we are why we are enjoying such the mild January temperatures we have been. Now, when the weather pattern flips in a few weeks, it'll get quiet back out there in California and will be cold and snowy. It does look like the weather pattern will flip come the end of the month, so it doesn't look like winter is over just yet. All right, so let's enjoy the relatively mild January weather, even if it comes with a little rain around here. It certainly has been gloomy today, right? We lost the sun. We haven't seen much in the way of rainfall. Anything that's fallen has been relatively light, more in the form of a little mist and drizzle, occasionally enough for a shower. That won't change tonight. In fact, I'm not anticipating a lot of wet weather overnight tonight. We've got the cloudy skies that are in place, but as you look downstream of the Ohio River, you don't see any additional rain coming our way, at least not yet. That will change, though, tomorrow morning. So here's what to expect. A gloomy night, some mist, a little drizzle out there. Even some fog in a few locations on a positive note, temperatures will climb through the night tonight. In fact, the warmest part of our day is still ahead of us. Thursday is a weather impact day because I do think we've got soaking rains for the morning commute. We're not dealing with severe weather, but heavy rainfall rates, which will probably lend itself to standing water and poor drainage areas. Then you maximize the volume of people out there on the roads. Just plan ahead for your Thursday morning commute out there. All right, even your commute home tomorrow looks wet, but I think the morning commute is the trickiest one out there. We'll have a, maybe a little snow in here tomorrow night too. Not much. It won't snow long at all, so I don't see any real impacts from that. Maybe someone picks up a dusting with some flurries continuing on into the day on Friday. So I'll walk all of this out here on Futurecast. You'll see through the night. Here's midnight again, just kind of gloomy out there. Not a lot of rain. As we get towards 6 a.m., you see this big blob of heavy soaking rainfall moving up the Ohio River. That's 6. Notice by 8, it's pouring across the tri-state. Needless to say, this will impact your morning commute. And then the heaviest rain moves out. But it's still going to be a washout of a Thursday because it will rain off and on throughout the entirety of the day here. And then notice tomorrow evening after about eight, maybe for an hour or two, we switch over briefly to a little snow. But notice it doesn't snow terribly long, hence the reason why I don't see any real impacts from that. And then just some flurries and maybe some snow showers continuing into the day on Friday as it turns very cold Friday night. So the good news is that all of this still smooths itself out by the time we get to the weekend. Saturday and Sunday look quiet. In fact, beautiful weather for the game here on Sunday between the Bengals and the Ravens. Tailgaters will enjoy temperatures in the mid 40s, mid to upper 40s. It will cool off as it's a night game, but mid 30s in January, not bad at all. So here's how it looks outside right now. 50 here in Cincinnati. The winds are light. Notice temperatures. 40s north of the river, low 50s to the south. So with a south wind, temperatures that are in the mid 40s now in many of our neighborhoods will go up the next several hours. So in an addition, visibility a little low in some places. I don't think it gets terribly bad overnight, but there could be a little fog, especially early on. Look at these temperatures rise through the 50s overnight. Again, the rain really won't become widespread and heavy until tomorrow morning. So 48 tonight, temperatures rise all through the night. Tomorrow, 55, rain heavy at times, especially early. And then there's a look at your day planner with off and on rain throughout the better part of the day. Your seven day forecast looks like this. Notice on Friday, we're only in the mid 30s. And then Saturday is quiet. Sunday's looking pretty good with sunshine. And then Mike and Ashley, it looks like another round of rain in here by late Monday afternoon on MLK Day. All right, Kevin, thanks so much, Mike. The jackpot.